Salute to my great brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I'm Fariba. I came to faith in true God about 10 years ago, and I want to share with you the testimony of my faith. At the beginning of my marriage, I surrendered my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ and told my spouse of my conversion and faced a stronger position from him. However, I stood by my faith because I believed the most valuable thing I had and still have was God's presence in my life. And I eagerly wanted my husband to embrace the faith and give his heart to Christ. However, even though I tried to move forward with our marriage with the love of Christ, my husband's heart remained unmoved and he did not believe in God. And this was not the only sad thing. Unfortunately, he started having an affair with my friend and cheated on me. My heart continued to be broken, not only by their betrayal, but also by the many painful things they had done to me. After this incident, my faith life was also shattered and unfortunately I went through days full of pain, anger, aversion and resentment towards my husband, my friend and my husband's family who not only did not understand my faith and not only rejected me, even encouraged my husband to divorce me. My heart was broken and full of wounds and every time I remembered what they had done to me, all that anger, hatred and resentment flared up again like fire in the ashes and kindled inside me. I was in a very bad mood and all my thoughts about life were affected until with the help of Jesus Christ and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, who never abandons us, I contacted one of the pastors in Shabbat 7 and asked for help. When I began my deliverance session with my dear pastor and reached the third session of deliverance from anger and unforgiveness, then when my dear pastor began to pray, the power of God poured into my soul and heart and after two years of pain and suffering, I felt an incredible sense of peace that I couldn't believe. Again, I thought that my feelings may be temporary. It's possible that all this pain, suffering and negative emotions could come back to me. But quite unbelievably, I felt more inner peace and happiness day after day. And even by remembering those memories, not only my heart was not filled with anger, but I could happily pray for their blessing and health and say, God bless you. They got what they wanted. So did I. And that means nothing but freedom in my faith and worshipping you without fear or restriction. This is an enormous great treasure to me and will remain with me forever. Amen. So we would be grateful for God's blessing presence in our lives because when we hinder ourselves from God's presence, evil will take advantage of the events around us to attack us with mental and emotional abuse and keep us away from all the blessings that we can have in God because he is the thief and father of all liars. Glory be to God, who does not abandon his children, and praise be to the Holy Spirit, who heals our wounds with love. Glory be to him.